Hi and welcome to the session. I am Priyanka and I am going to help you with the following question. The question says, see figure 3.14 and write the following. The coordinates of B, the coordinates of C, the point identified by the coordinates minus 3 minus 5, the points identified by the coordinates 2 minus 4, the abscissa of the point D, the ordinate of point H, the coordinates of point L and the coordinates of point N. Now this is the figure which we need to refer. Now let us proceed on with our solution by writing the answer one by one in front of the question itself. The first point is to write the coordinates of B. B is this point and we need to write the coordinates of B. That is from the x-axis it's minus 5 and from the y-axis it's coming to be 2. So the answer is minus 5 bracket 2. Right. Then we need to write the coordinates of C. So let us this is a point C. So from y-axis it's 5 and from from x-axis it's 5 and from y-axis it's also 5, minus 5. So the answer to this part is 5 bracket comma minus 5. Then the point identified by the coordinates minus 3 minus 5. So minus 3 means from x-axis minus 3 and from y-axis it's minus 5. So that means we land up on this point and the name of this point is E. So the answer to this is E. Then the point identified by the coordinates 2 and minus 4. So 2 and minus 4. So that means the point is G. So this is the answer of the first part, answer of the second part, third part, fourth part and let's proceed on to the fifth part. The abscissa of point D. So let us first find out where the point D is and we need to write its abscissa. That means the x-axis point and that is coming out to be 6. Right. So the answer to this is, that is the fifth part. 6. Then we need to write the ordinate of point H. Ordinate of point H means the point which is lying on the y-axis. So that is point marked as minus 3. So the answer to the 6th part is minus 3. Proceeding on, the coordinates of point L. Now let us first find out where is point L l it is here so we need to write down its coordinates so if we look down to the y axis x axis it's 0 and on y axis it's 5 so the answer to this is that is the seventh part is 0 comma 5 proceeding on further the coordinates of point m now this is point M and the point is minus 3 on x-axis and 0 on y-axis. So it will be written as minus 3 comma 0. So this completes the entire questions answer which was given to us. We proceeded on one by one looking at each question separately with the help of this diagram. So I hope you enjoyed the session. Bye for now.